Grade 6 Math, number 12.4, Area of Rectangles, Squares, and Parallelograms. The area of a figure is the number of square units needed to cover it without any gaps or overlaps. The area for this blue rectangle is 15 units. There's 15 squares inside of it. We could also have done it 5 of these square units times 3 going this way, or the length times the width. That makes it 15 units, see? The area is equal to the length times the width. Bob's yard is 125 feet long and 35 feet wide, so what is the area of his yard? It's 125 feet long and 35 feet wide. Well, we just need to measure, I mean uh, multiply these two numbers together and we'll get the square footage. We'll get all the inside area. So. 125 times 35 comes out to 4,375 and it's important we put square feet because these are feet and the units are square. If a person's yard is 2,700 square feet or 2,700 foot squared and the length is 90 feet, what is the width? Well, area equals length times width, so that means the 2,700 is equal to the 90 times W, the width. All we have to do is divide both sides by 90, which is the inverse of this multiplication, and then the 90 cancels out itself here, and 2700 divided by 90 is 30, and we know the width is 30 feet. See? We can find the area of a square with sides measuring 7.25 centimeters. The area is equal to the length times the width. Well, with a square, all the sides are the same, so if you're just given the one measure for a square, that's okay. You just multiply 7.25 times 7.25. We do, and we get 52.5625. See, because there were two decimal points, we had four hops in the equation, so we have four hops in the answer. So our answer is 52.5625 centimeters squared. See? If it says to estimate the area of a parallelogram, you count the full squares, because we're just estimating, and we get nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine full squares. We count the almost full squares, one, two. We count the half full squares, one, two. We add them together and get approximately 13 squares is what this parallelogram is filling. Well, if we wanted the exact amount, we could use the formula A equals BH to find the area. That means area is equal to the base times the height. Now, we do not use a slanted height to measure for height. The true height is perpendicular, going straight up and down like this with the 90 degree angle. So, this is the true height. So if our height is 3 inches and our base is 6.2 inches, we just multiply them together and get 18.6 square inches. That's the area, see? And we remember that when there's one hop in the equation, you have to put that one hop in the product, okay? If it says that the height is 5 inches and the base is 4 inches, we can figure out what this is. We just do 4 times 5 and we get 20 inches squared or 20 square inches. So remember, it's very important to label the area as square units, okay? Either with inches squared or feet squared or, you know, centimeter squared or write it out as square inches. Either way, we have to show the full correct measure, and you want to show that the inside is filled up. We're not doing the edge. We're not doing the perimeter. We're filling it up completely. And by saying square units that lets everyone know that we're talking about the inside is all filled up, okay? So that's how you do the area of rectangles, squares, and parallelograms, and I'll see you next video, okay? Hope this was helpful. Bye!